Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see what is happening now on the sky for the next 15 days to come. Uh, what is the celestial uh, situation? I will be, I look at my previous video if you want. It is about uh, the new year to come. But um, just briefly to tell you what we can expect uh, from the from the next 15 days and, and then I will be telling you uh, day by day what will be happening from today until the, the full moon. Now, uh, important day, light candle, watch the sky this evening because today is the first moon appearing in the vicinity of the vernal equinox or the autumn equinox for the northern hemisphere. So, Indeed, take a look at the sky and your intuition will tell you what to expect from the year, but also from the next 15 months for sure. So um, the moon appears in Pisces. Of course, what, um, this is so important because um, Pisces is this very sign which is associated with um, the place of the equinox emphasized important this is not only christianity this is our our philosophical belief system this is empathy this is spirituality this is awakening this is enlightenment helping each other loving each other this is Pisces. the moon emphasizes on that on the very same uh, moment um for the next 15 days, all planets are on one side of the zodiac, a little bit uh, blocked by the two lunar nodes, Rahu and Ketu. This sh promises not very easy 15 days to come, very karmic. We have to be very, uh, very much relying on our intuition, uh, seeing what will happen. This is the thing. I will tell you for certain activities, these 15 days can be interesting for new beginnings but not really for all, but for certain activities which uh, would involve um, activities which would involve this Pisces uh, energy or the structured energy of uh, Saturn. This would be like new, new studies, teaching others new philosophies, um, projects which would involve humanitarian, let's say, work, helping others, spiritual work, like that. Uh, so for certain businesses, it could be good too, but not for everything. It, these are delicate, this is delicate horoscope. Now, uh, what is also happening in the next 15 days? Um, uh, Mercury still invisible is moving into Aquarius to join Jupiter to join the Sun this is a bit better than to have conjunction between Saturn and Mercury which is purely manipulation purely suppressing um, freedom of speech and if you, we see this theater of you know how they sit and the war um, the war participants and organizers <laughs> how they're sitting on one table to, uh, to negotiate. Nothing will come out from negotiations while uh, in Capricorn we have Mars, Venus, uh, Pluto, Saturn, Mercury. We're talking about serious deception. What we hear is not the truth and um, such negotiations will not bring any result. So it's good it to be good in, indeed if after this week, um, on the 7th of March, Mercury moves into Aquarius. This will start bringing better re results. We will at least break this, um, will break this very heavy conjunction. And also a couple of days after, the moon is breaking this situation which we have all planets on one side of Rahu and Ketu. And this is also breaking on 8th of March. So we will see slowly, slowly some improvement also in the warlike situation because uh, this very ominous blockage will start um, falling apart when you will see uh, this happening. But real results uh, of uh, warlike situation improvement we will see after Jupiter enters Pisces, which is 
his first visibility on the 8th of April and his entrance into Pisces on the 14th. Then we can talk about easier energies. Um, also, yes, this is, this is what I want to tell you. So what is also happening these 15 days? You see, we have conjunction Mars, Venus with Saturn. This is uh, very emotional, very much using people's emotions, people's hearts, using um, and applying manipulation. So this is a little bit uh, the thing. But um, like I tell you, from seventh on, the, the energies will be much different, much easier. This I'm sure about, you will experience this. So uh, this is what I want to tell you. Now, uh, what is happening on the, let's see the, you know, the 12th ascendance. If you want more information about indeed what this new moon means, take a look at just my previous video, which is about the new year of, um, of the, um, of the Akito festival, the new Babylonian new year. Take a look, could be interesting and you will have more information. Now, let's see. Um, so we're talking about 3rd of March and um, already the energies of the 4th of March, the first lunar day, the first lunar day of the year. Um, very spiritual, but very emotional. Not good to make important decisions because you may be influenced by your emotions. You may be impulsive because Mars is too strong. The same will be the situation on the, in the world. You will see not yet uh, this improvement that you want, but um, it, this day could be, you may actually even travel on this day. You may um, teach, you may study, you may start doing your, let's say gardening, agriculture, it's, it's already good to do, to do the seeding, to, uh, to prepare the, 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 the soil, it, it is perfect. I am actually planning to do this also on the, uh, tomorrow. I will be doing the seeds of, of the vegetables, so just the, the, the right time for that because uh, the moon appears in this very beautiful place which is uh, so fruitful so fruitful which is spicy so brilliant to do your seeds you can plant trees you can already plant uh, many things um, it is whatever you can um so you may do a lot no, not surgical interventions this is the day is um friday uh, tomorrow uh, 4th of march ruled by venus if you do welcome the sun which is brilliant your connection with nature, with the planets to improve certain maybe challenging aspects in your horoscope. You may um, welcome the sun, you know, Venus is ruling, you have the blessing of Venus, you have the, uh, you can imagine pink aura and you can wear rose quartz, beautiful day of Venus. Um, no surgical interventions, but actually for um, maintaining the status quo, maintaining your finances, doing spiritual practices, helping others, no negotiations, <laughs> the day could be very good. Then we have 5th of March, this is Saturday, uh, second lunar day, pretty much the same, really pretty much the same. The difference is that, yes, you can travel, yes, you can maintain the status quo, no medical interventions. The day is ruled by uh, Saturn, Saturday, I said Friday mistake, it's Saturday, you welcome the sun, you, you imagine the aura around yourself to be purple, and, and you can wear amethyst on this day, you can travel, no negotiation, stay, stay, uh, be careful when you make financial decisions, be cautious um, with, uh, with your partner a little bit, very emotional energies, exact conjunction between Mars and Venus. And Mars is more powerful, this can eventually result into conflict. So you have to be very careful. Then we have 6th of March, Sunday, third lunar day. And this is um, interesting, it's not void, of course, but it is a very specific degrees. Again, in the last degrees of Pisces, what you can do during this day is teach others, study, but um, you can even uh, travel, but um, 
still no medical interventions. Uh, new beginnings, again, related to knowledge, study. Um, also, what, is, what you can do is certainly do spiritual practices which will enhance your intuition. This is Sunday, day of the sun. You welcome the sun. You, may, you imagine this healing all of the sun around you. Uh, the sunlight, you can wear uh, ruby on this day. Very good for this. But you see, we're still limited until the seven because all planets are on one side. Therefore, I cannot recommend you too many activities. Then you have the fourth lunar day, uh, which is Monday. Interesting degrees. Very driven. We, we may be very driven to, uh, you know, to act. Uh, you can see acceleration <laughs> a bit, uh, unfortunately, in warlike situation, some sort of enhanced hostilities. And so we not very appropriate to make important decisions because like I'm telling you, these are specific degrees, um, not good for medical interventions because it's a square with Saturn. To travel, you may need to be a little bit cautious here. And this is about Monday and also Tuesday, fourth and fifth lunar days. They are very, very powerful, very potent uh, lunar days. Monday ruled by the moon, you welcome the sun, you imagine the moon uh, energy, which would be um, light green and you can wear a moonstone, let's say, connect with nature to give you healing, abundance. Um, this day is not very harmonious. The same is the situation for Tuesday, uh, March 8th, fifth lunar day, very strong. Exact square with Saturn, we have to be very careful. I don't advise traveling. I don't advise any important uh, initiatives here. We have to be a little bit cautious. No medical interventions. No, it's a square. We have to be careful. This is still seventh. And then you see we have much better situation. Mercury is already in Aquarius. Moon entered uh, Taurus. Better for the finances. A bit of relief. Relief in the whole warlike situation, you will see relief. It is already, I'm talking about 8th of March. You will see in general relief. It was like stagnation until then. It would be until then like um, we are stuck, no movement like that. But yes, now uh, we're uh, on the 9th of March, Wednesday, 6th to the better situation, better for finances. You can travel, now you can negotiate even, better for your finances. You may do financial decisions, you may do medical intervention. If not invasive, you can do even intervention, which would be beauty procedure. Uh, activities which would relate pleasure, beauty, art, wonderful on this day. And this is, um, this would be Wednesday. I missed the Tuesday, just to tell you. On the Tuesday, the day before, you welcome the sun, you imagine a red aura. If you need energy, imagine red aura and you can wear a red coral, let's say, or garnet. And now we're talking here about um, Wednesday, 9 of March. Uh, the day before was 8 of March, ruled by Mars. 9 of March is ruled by Mercury, it's Wednesday. Uh, very good day for what I told you, for knowledge, studying, traveling, doing, creating beauty, um, even spiritual practices. And Wednesday, you welcome the sun, green aura, and you can wear emerald or green aventurine on this day. It's very nice. We have then, um, this would be March... Then Thursday, seventh lunar day, critical lunar day, but financially better. You will experience better financial day, better, easier energies for the world, a bit releasing the these warlike energies which you see now, improvement in the warlike situation, maybe more going towards peace. We're out of the blockage of Rahu and Ketu, very important. And uh, financial decisions you can make, you can make deals, business, travel, negotiate, medical interventions, beauty procedures, but all, especially when you travel, it's still seventh lunar day, always considered a little bit critical. Be a bit cautious, make sure you prepare very well. It is Thursday, ruled by Jupiter, you welcome the sun, 
you imagine yellow energy around you or or orange like energy and you know jupiter is ruling you and you can wear yellow sapphire then we have eight lunar day 11th of march which is uh friday here unfortunately the moon has no course but still is conjoined money star financial operations uh, enhancing your uh, financial business your business in general mm, but if like start a new business from which you you will respect you expect result it's not very appropriate on this day beauty procedures of course you expect result not appropriate art uh, knowledge artistic work pleasure yes uh, brilliant travel yes and this is friday ruled by venus you imagine the aura around yourself to be um pink or very white clear and you can wear a, a rose quartz you can imagine the blessing of, of venus now we have saturday 12th of march ninth lunar day um the moon is conjunct degrees related to commerce business very good very good situation on the sky no affliction whatsoever fine for negotiations fine for travel Mm, fine for doing business fine for starting new things involving um business decisions let's say com commercial decision communication like that this is, looks, seems to be a look day a good day this is saturday ruled by saturn so you look at the uh, sky and you what you know when you welcome the sun and you imagine the aura around yourself to be dark blue let's say and you will know that Saturn is ruling and you can wear amethyst, let's say. You can travel, negotiate, do a lot on this day, mainly about business, communication, knowledge. Then we have Sunday, 13th of March, 10th lunar day. Uh, the moon is conjoined the two of the twins, Castor and Pollux, one of them Castor, spiritual day. Uh, mainly about spirituality, communication, uh, because of the nature of Gemini, uh, teaching, philosophical day, like that. Such new businesses you can do or such new initiative related to knowledge, sharing your knowledge, this is the thing. Mm, you, can, you can negotiate, you can travel, uh, this is Sunday the sun is ruling you you welcome the sun you know you receive this beautiful healthy aura and you can wear garnet red garnet then we have 14th of march monday 11th lunar day uh the moon is in the vicinity of Procyon, star of knowledge yeah mm, you can do things for your home but um you see here there is the opposition of saturn we have to be careful i don't um so dark <laughs> i don't recommend medical interventions on the previous day you you could but not invasive because still the moon is waxing but on this day no medical interventions you can do works for your home you may be a bit cautious uh, with your family with your parents because of this affliction it's mainly about the home spiritual practices um teaching others doing your own spiritual practices like that not really negotiating not really traveling and this is valid for monday and tuesday both days uh 14th and 15th of march for these two days so also like i said no medical interventions if it's monday the moon is ruling you welcome the sun you imagine the aura around yourself to be um light blue light green and you can wear larimar very nice on the day after again the same is valid you need to be a bit cautious this could be too emotional can lead to conflict you have to be a bit patient with uh, your loved ones with your partner uh, it's more about your home your own spiritual practices your own knowledge no medical interventions no travel are really recommended on this day 
quite heavy aspect on the sky. Uh, because it is Tuesday, you welcome the sun. Mars is ruling, you imagine, a red aura, healing aura, which is giving you energy to motivation, to act. And you can wear red coral on this day, but not much we can do it, mainly for home, for ourselves. Then we have 16th of March, which would be Wednesday. And here the moon really has no course not much to do because we, we will not reach a lot we will not reach a lot but in terms of spiritual activities knowledge being at home arranging own things no uh, studying enlightenment and this is uh wednesday 16th 13th lunar day um what week it is already just before the the full moon the full moon will be on the um yes actually the full moon is starting on this lunar day indeed um what we can do is you see the energy of the full moon is not liked by just everybody but some people really do a lot they feel very productive very um very they can just do much no much you know on this lunar day so what can i tell you just uh, you know how the full moons work on you because of course we have them all the time so you know benefit from this energy spiritually but not much to do um, like you can study because the moon is in hydra hydra is the is about knowledge knowing really um, it is about knowing researching receiving true knowledge this is the specific degree Hydra. Uh, for these degrees, Hermes is saying, and these people just know when these degrees are on specific position in their horoscope. This degree is emphasized. Uh, yes, it is about your knowledge. More I cannot really tell you. On full moon, we never do. Uh, actually, I'm very sorry, this is not yet the full moon. I misled you here. Uh, excuse me, let me just see why. Yes, because I'm counting the lunar days and uh, sometimes on the 13th lunar day. No, it is, excuse me, it is not yet the full moon. The full moon follows, but what I'm telling you about the full moon is valid. You know what the full moon is bringing you. So how you deal with this energy, just notice and remember. But these degrees still that I'm telling you are about notion, knowing, but yet not much to do because this is a degree uh, which is not appropriate for uh, a lot to be done but this is happening uh, on the wednesday they have mercury knowledge you welcome the sun you imagine green or lemony aura and you can wear emerald and this is day for no your knowledge this uh, what i said is correct just that the full moon follows so then we have 17th of march which is thursday the moon is in the vicinity of astrological star brilliant to get knowledge notion astrology other strong esoteric uh, science to to work on your courage uh, a lot to fight melancholy medical intervention not very appropriate unless but if, if it's not invasive you still can do travel negotiate negotiate not to travel you may no specific bad aspect on the sky but not very very appropriate to travel because this is thursday the day is ruled by jupiter the aura around yourself will be when you welcome the sun you imagine the aura orange like aura and you can wear uh, yellow sapphire you can do beauty procedure on this day uh, sharing knowledge with others mm, new initiatives that will be related to let's say working on your courage or encouraging others or no, uh, knowledge really like science like astrology practicing like that then we have um 15th lunar day oh well this is now <laughs> the full moon day and it is happening on the axis of Pisces Virgo knowledge uh communication trade 
spirituality, balance. It is like I told you about the full moon. You see how you experience these energies. This is the day is Friday. You welcome the sun. You imagine white or pink aura, and you know Venus is ruling you. You can wear pink quartz or even clear white diamond. But it is about this. Never on full moon we do medical interventions. Uh, you just see how these energies work on you. Like I told you, not everyone loves them, but actually we can use them as a portal for knowledge, for good health, of to, to get healing, because it is happening in Virgo, the, the most appropriate sign for healing. Helping others, empathy, mm, like that. So... I, me I mentioned the start of the period, I mentioned to you the agriculture and up until the full moon, you can do your seeds, you can work on preparing the ground for your seeds or for planting and you can plant um, your, your, your vegetables, trees, flowers, just everything. So this is, this is about the first 15 days of the month of March. I think maybe I gave you some useful information so that you can plan your weeks. Uh, see you very soon. Bye-bye.